Hi all, welcome back to our YouTube channel. The topic of this video is Crypt Analytic Attacks. So let's get started. In the security attacks video, we saw that security attacks are broadly classified into two types that are Crypt Analytic Attacks and Non Crypt Analytic Attacks. In the previous video, we have covered all attacks under Non Crypt Analytic Attacks. Also, we studied briefly about Crypt Analytic Attacks in the first part of the security attacks topic. Link in the i button, do watch it if you haven't. In this video, we are going to cover all attacks under Crypt Analytic Attacks. In Crypt Analytic Attacks, we have four attacks that are ciphertext only attack, known plain text attack, chosen plain text attack, and chosen ciphertext attack. Let's understand this properly. Before diving into the topic, let's understand some definition and terminologies. First is cryptography, which we know is the science of secret writing. The second is crypt analysis. Crypt analysis is a science of breaking the secret writing. So crypt analysis is a study of breaking the ciphers by finding loopholes or bugs in the encryption decryption algorithms used in cryptography. So we can see that crypt analysis is the complete opposite of cryptography. In cryptography, we try to hide the information while in crypt analysis, we try to uncover the hidden information. The next is script analyst. So a script analyst is a person performing script analysis. So as you would have guessed, Oscar is our script analyst. The next is script analytic attacks. So script analytic attacks are attacks performed by script analyst using script analysis. So having understood this, let's go to the first attack, which is ciphertext only attack. So here the script analyst only knows the ciphertext. Let's call a graphics to understand it better. So here we have Alice along with her encryption machine and we have Bob along with his decryption machine. And here we have Oscar. Now Alice uses the encryption machine to convert the plain text to ciphertext. As always, Oscar receives the ciphertext along with Bob. Now Bob uses his decryption machine to decrypt the ciphertext and obtain that plain text. Now let's go to Oscar. Oscar has an analyze function which is used to perform crypt analysis. Now in ciphertext only attack, the analyze function receives only the ciphertext to get the plain text. We can see that Oscar only has the public ciphertext for doing his script analysis in a ciphertext only attack. Hence this attack is the most difficult to implement as there is no information apart from the public ciphertext. Now let's understand that what are the different techniques Oscar can use in the analyze function. Let's start with the first one which is brute force attack. So in brute force attack, Oscar tries to decrypt the ciphertext with every possible key in the key domain until the plain text makes sense. However, this solution is infeasible in most situations. Let's take a simple example to understand its infeasibility. Suppose the key domain of the key is capital English alphabets, that is, letters from A to Z. And somehow Oscar gets to know that the key contains 5 letters. So each letter can have 26 possibilities, that are A to Z. And when we multiply this 5 times, we get this humongous number. This is even greater than 30 crores. So you can see that a simple key domain such as this can have so much combination. Also here we are considering only uppercase English letters. If we choose lowercase English letters along with special characters and numbers, then the key size becomes huge and it becomes very difficult to decipher such ciphers. So we can see that this attack is infeasible in most cases due to its huge key domain. A better approach is statistical attack. So in statistical attack, we use some inherent characteristics of the plain text. Let's take an example. So the letter E is the most frequently used character in the English language. Now Oscar assigns the most frequently appearing character in the ciphertext as E and then applies the same transformation logic to other alphabets and try to decrypt the message and find the key. So we can see that Oscar uses an inherent characteristic of the English language to reduce the computation time. To prevent from such attack, the ciphertext must hide characteristics of the language. For example, we can use compression. Using compression, we can remove some of such inherent characteristics of the language. Another method that is used is pattern attack. So some ciphers create patterns in the ciphertext. Let's consider an HTML code as an example. In an HTML code, everything is surrounded by a tag. And when such a pattern is converted to ciphertext, we get a similar pattern in the ciphertext. Cryptanalyst uses this pattern to break the cipher. As they know, an HTML code is always surrounded by an HTML tag. Once that tag is decrypted, the whole code can be decrypted using the same logic. So this was all about ciphertext only attack. Let's go to the next one, which is known plain text attack. So in known plain text attack, Oscar has access to previous plain text ciphertext pair in addition to the intercepted ciphertext. 
Let's call a graphics to understand better. So Alice has a plain text which she converts into cipher text using the encryption machine which reaches Oscar and Bob and Bob uses his decryption machine to obtain the plain text. Now let's come back to Oscar. So we know that Oscar has an analyze function which receives the cipher text. However, in known plain text attack, it receives one more piece of information that is a previous plain text cipher text pair as an input. This may happen in situation when Alice had sent a message to Bob and later made the contents of the message public. So Oscar had a pair of plain text cipher text. Now Oscar will use this pair to further analyze the current cipher text to obtain the plain text. So we can see since we have more information, it is easier to implement. This was all about known plain text attack. The next is chosen plain text attack. Here Oscar has access to the encryption program. However, he doesn't have the access to the source code and secret key. So here Oscar has got access to a program that converts plain text to cipher text but doesn't know anything about its internal working or the secret key. Let's understand using some graphics. So as previously, Alice generates the plain text, converts to cipher text and sends it to Oscar and Bob and then Bob gets its plain text using the decryption machine. Coming back to Oscar, here Oscar has access to the encryption machine that Alice is using. So Oscar inputs his chosen plain text and gets its corresponding cipher text. Now he has a pair of plain text cipher text. As the name of the attack suggests, here Oscar chooses the plain text and gets the corresponding cipher text. In the similar fashion, he generates more such pairs. So here the analyze function gets the cipher text and all these pairs of plain text cipher text for analysis to obtain the plain text. This was all about chosen plain text attack. The last one is chosen cipher text attack. Here Oscar has access to the decryption algorithm. Here also he doesn't have the access to the source code and secret key. Let's call our graphics to understand better. So here Oscar has the access to a decryption machine that Bob is using. So Oscar inputs his chosen cipher text and gets its corresponding plain text. In a similar fashion, he generates more such pairs. So here the analyze function gets the cipher text and all these pairs of plain text cipher text for analysis to obtain the plain text. So these were all the four crypt analytic attacks. Let's summarize them in a table. Starting with the first is cipher text only attack. Here the crypt analyst only knows about the cipher text. The next is known plain text attack. Here the crypt analyst knows the cipher text along with a previous plain text cipher text pair. In chosen plain text attack, the crypt analyst knows the cipher text the encryption machine used by Alice and a chosen pair of plain text cipher text. And in chosen cipher text, the crypt analyst knows the cipher text, the decryption machine used by Bob and the pair of plain text cipher text. So we have covered all the four crypt analytic attacks. That's it for the video guys. Thanks for watching the video. And if you have any doubts, please do let us know in the comment section below. And if you have found the video helpful, then do like and share the video with your friends and subscribe to be the best channel for more such videos. Meet you in the next video of the CSE series. Bye bye.